all right welcome back and in this video we are going to see that how you can print uh, whatever you want to print on the screen okay so uh, let me show you normal printing that you do so this is something done like this suppose I write my name Vikash Kumar and Shakya okay so this is the way uh, you normally use it and if you run it then uh, the default separator is always a space and you know the end character is always a new line in this case by default so uh, end character is a new line and it is by default printing on your standard output screen which is your you know uh, console output whatever it could be like here if I run it it simply goes to you know console output your terminal whatever I'm running in and you can see the Vikas Kumar Shakya it has been printed here okay so by default the separator is a space and the end character is a new line so if I do something else like uh, if I print something else like um, you know Rakesh some other name then in that case uh, it will be printed on the new line because when your print ends uh, then after the last character it ends uh, it adds a uh, uh, you know new line character and that is why the next print will be printed on the next and uh, not on the next line so you can see the Rakesh has been printed on the next line so this is the default separator and the end character and now if I go to use my own separator okay so uh, let me give you before that let me give you one more example suppose of if I write like a is equal to uh, you know 10 and then B is equal to 20 and C is equal to 30 uh, then if I use like uh, uh, print and if I write like a comma B comma C okay so now it will be more clear so uh, let me just remove this print both the prints uh, or let me keep it here only you can see the last output so if you see the 10 20 and 30 they have been separated by default with this space okay they have been separated with by default with this space and the end at the end of this string uh, there will be a new line character now if I want to give my own uh, separator and end line then uh, how we how we can give it how I can use that so for that you need to use this like a B and C and then you need to write like SEP okay as separator is equal to comma I want to give comma in space in in instead of space so I can specify the separator as a comma and then I can specify you know uh, new line so next uh, line or new line that you can give uh, with the keyword uh, which is you know uh, end okay so if you give the end here then it can be like I want to give this character okay so now if you print it then you can see the output of the last and that has been printed like 10 comma 20 comma 30 and at the end the you know exclamation sign that I have added at the end character that has been added so it is up to you that how you want to you know uh, format your string how you want to uh, decorate basically your string this is uh, just the decoration of your string uh, based on the you know inputs and separator and end characters that you have mentioned here now let us see that how you can format the uh, you know uh, format while printing uh, the characters are printing the values I will uh, just copy and paste and uh, you know just put it in all all these things into one uh, one notepad file and that I will upload as well okay so you can find that in the you know um, uh, your resources section okay. so now let us see formatted printing with literals that how you can do that so we have a B and C if I want to print them using the formatting then I need to use this F and then I need to give this like first F I R S T and then I can give it like this maybe like this or whatever you want to use and there you can give like you know uh, a then I can give like you know uh, second is equal to you know B and third is equal to you know C so now let us see how it prints okay so this is another way to print using the literals 
So you can see first is equal to 10, second is equal to 20, third is equal to 30. So you can see just after the last string it has been added because the end character I specified for the previous print statement was, you know, this exclamation sign. So that is why it was printed like that. Uh, but anyways, you can, uh, you know, do it yourself, whatever you want, because now you understand the concept. So this is uh, using the literals. If you directly want to use the literals, then you need to use the F keyword here. If you do like this, then let us see if it can be done or not. Yes, this can or this should also be possible. Yes, yes, this is possible. Yes, but in this case, you cannot get the values. OK, so if you want to really want to get the values of A, B and C, and if you want to directly use them as a literal, then you need to use this, you need to use F in front of this string. So now if you use the F, then in that case, the real values of first, second and third, which is A, B and C, they will be printed here. OK. Now let us see if I want to, you know, print my values in a specific width. Suppose I want to print, uh, you know, the value of A uh, uh, in the form of 10 character, uh, you know, with a width of 10, then what I will do. So in case of that, I need to use like print and I need to use, uh, suppose I want to use F and then I can give like, uh, you know, the first value and then I can give like here is, you know, A and I can give the width as 10. OK, so now if I do this and if I print it, then let us see what happens. OK, so you can see the first value, you can see the 10 has been printed after a long number of spaces, you know. So how many spaces are there? There will be eight spaces before the 10 was printed. OK, so it will be. Uh, you know, uh, right uh, aligned uh, with this one. I mean, all the 10 characters, they will be, uh, you know, um, counted from the beginning and when it will be adjusting the values and the, at the end, then it will be, uh, you know, giving you the value at the end uh, with the uh, with the adjustment uh, with that width. OK, so if I give like this, then in that case, if I give, then it will. Yeah, let me run it again. I think something wrong happened, so let me run it. Okay, so I think it has been printed with, you know, the first value, yeah. So this has become a, you know, bigger value, so it is not printing. The first value is 10. So you can give like, I want to give, um, this is 10, I want to give the value, I did reverse, so now if I run it, then you can see the value is 10,000, okay? So there are five and before that five spaces will be there. If you count, there will be five spaces. So this is how you can uh, do this. And uh, okay, uh, now I want to print some decimal values. Okay, so let me give uh, some value here like uh, uh, something else like D I want to provide with some value 134 point, you know, 4664. And now I want to print it in a specific order. So print and then f the value is so the value is i want to print it like uh, something else so i can do something like this uh, zero not zero basically the value of d i want to give like five and point two after it should be maximum five and after that uh, two after the decimal two digits should be there so I can do like this run with without debug and yeah you can see 1.3 e plus 0 2 so that is why it is giving like this so if I give like this 134.124 and if I do something like 3.2 so uh, not 3.2 maximum 5 so or you can say six so in that case it should print overall you know six and then after the decimal it should print uh, you know two uh, digits so if you do this you can see here it has been printed as in the exponential form so 1.3 e plus you know, 0 02 so that is why it has been given like this so uh, this can be corrected uh, using uh, some smaller values so let me give it like this one to four and it should be like uh, 2.2 so let me run it 
so you can see 4.1 so it should be after the decimal it should be 2 and maximum it should be 2 so that is why it has taken 2 and after the decimal it has taken uh, you know maximum 1 because maximum was you know uh, so I, if I give like 3.3 .3, then in that case it should print you know whatever we want to print it yeah so now it is 1.4.12 I want to print overall 3 and um, after the decimal it should be 2 including the decimal so this is what the meaning is so this is the way you can uh, print the decimal value in specific width okay now I want to use the format function for formatting so just like here you are doing the formatting using the literals you can use the formatting using the you know format function as well so in that case you can do something like this the value of a you know 0 or you can say like this comma b is this and c is this so you can give like colons and then here you can give the colons and then format uh, let me see uh, what is the format so it should be some function with name format okay so you don't need to give something like this you need to use the format just here okay so here if you give a b c so if you have you know studied about the printf and c language then you might be aware about this so this is how you can print like a 10000 this is see the last line and you can see the output okay so the value of a b c dot format you can find out these and now if i do something else uh, i can do in another way as well okay so I can do like uh, you know 0 1 uh, you, you know I can give 2 and then I can give 1 okay so let us see what happens now okay so you can see I give the value of B as you know 30 right so what I'm doing I want to give the B as third value which is this is 0 a is 0 B is 1 C is so I want to give the second value which is C's value to B and I want to assign the value of B I mean uh, this B at the second position to the third position right so that is why the B whose value is 20 that has been printed as the value of C so you need to uh, you know take care of the ordering and uh, overall purpose of print uh, you know showing this to you was to um, you know uh, let you know that you can use a specific ordering as well when you are using the format function. Okay, so with this uh, this particular lecture comes to an end. Thank you